All right, guys. So this is a quick, quick, quick review of my work in progress of my closet. Um, hopefully the lighting is good enough or decent enough for you guys to see. So I'll just show you guys what I have done in this closet so far. These are like my temporary tables that I will be using to do my reborning on. Because if you guys remember, I got rid of my table, um, my reborn session. So I use those little fold out, you know, um, tab tables. And that step ladder is for me usually when I'm taking pictures or to get to certain things that's up high around the house. But um, so let's start here. So this little hanging rack you can get from Amazon. Um, if I can go find where I got it from, a lot of the items that I use, I will find the links and put the links in the description bar for you guys. Um, so I got this little hanging um, thing for towel for um, blankets. Um, you can also use them for like sweaters or whatever, but I use mine for like you know some of my little fancy um blankets and with hats and stuff that you know so that I can some of the babies I can um you know I I really I may use for taking photos and it's really easy for me to get to up here if you look at the top up here at the very top those are pacifiers some of them are pacifiers from way long back that I've had that I don't really want to send home with babies that I sell so they're up here um, as you've seen I have other pacifiers um, these are uh, mostly baby deer uh, shoes but there are a few of like um, sandals that I really like and that I probably would use a little bit more frequently than others so I put them here so that I can just grab them and know that they're right here I used to have this row full of all these gray bins, but I've switched them out um, because I decided to put some bins up top to free my floor area. So this is hats. I don't do the fancy labels. I know I could, but I haven't got that fancy yet. And socks, bibs, and mitts are in there. And as you can see, it's overflowing. So I'm gonna have to do some process of elimination there. Um, up there, you will see there over there is like props and stuff uh when i do role play skits and stuff and also i have some um baby carrying bags there um this these bins are my diapers uh, as you guys know i collect lots of diaper prints so um there's plenty of diapers here and it looked like this might be kind of crazy and chaotic but they're actually in packs for the most part it's like a lot of different prints and sizes um same for here um some special diapers that i've ordered from like ebay and stuff like that as well um and just so i could have easy access to stuff so i always have like an easy access um section for myself um so i don't have to keep reaching up there i have you know diapers in here um, these are some of my newer ones that I really like the prints um, and so I have those and as you can see like there it's quite a bit and then and then I have you know more diapers here so these are you know diapers this is like bins with just different items that I've had over years that's special to me and stuff I'm not gonna go in all the drawers but these are like I think the top and the third one is boy clothes and the middle one is girl clothes. Um, I kind of remember this stuff, but I don't have them labeled. This is my um, cloth diaper um, stash for the most part. I do have others that might not be in here, but for the most part, um, I do have them in here. And like some of the bigger babies. Uh, cloth diapers and so on and so forth um, this is actually a little photography little outfit with the pants and a little hat um, and eventually I'll use that for some baby when I get to that point <laughs> um, again like I said these are just diapers 
this is a little outfit that I kept stored off to the side and I think I showed this in my other one um, that I got from Reggie Ann's that she handmade which is so nice um, I decided to put the car seat here this used to be my grandson car seat and I got this um, when Zindi um, the first Zenday came so um, as you guys know I'll be painting my second Zenday my replacement Zenday and so um, Tabitha let me have uh, Bryson's old car seat because he wasn't using it of course anymore so I have that what I did with my clothes is I organized them first of all I separated boy and girl so boys over here girls over here and then I separated them from like newborn some you might see like I have a preemie in the front of the newborn but it's newborn then a zero to three um uh three to six uh six to nine nine to twelve so on and so forth and it goes on up so same thing with this it's newborn zero to three and then it goes on um these are just clothes that's for my personal babies for the most part um they do have a second closet worth of clothes and like I said at a later date um, that room is the second room that I will be working on in between my work and I will be getting that room back organized and stuff and so I will maybe show a, a tour of that um, of how I organize that room over there because that room will be um, that room has m like a closet full of mostly everything it's new with tags over there because that's stuff that I send home in box openings and my blankets and all that stuff so that that room is right behind this room so the closet is right behind yeah the closet is right behind this closet actually um it would have been nice if I just knocked the wall out and just joined it <laughs> but um no but anyway so that's how I go oh and back here is like some special stuff um this dress used to be gabby's and so i am keeping that um when i had a child size doll i let her wear that um but and it also, i also have a christening gown back here as well um and i have hanging here is some <laughs> the fabric softener downy like uh, giraffe beads um and it gives the closet a very baby powder scent smell i also put those down in my drawers and like behind each one of these is is like one so when i pull the stuff out it instantly already smells like baby so i don't have to spray my baby clothes because i don't want to risk getting that perfume on my doll's painting and stuff like that so that's how you know I have them where they will smell like baby but that's about it so it's just a small walk-in closet um, and so that's what I've been doing um, this room was originally my uh, two of my daughters shared this room at one point and of course all, most of my kids are grown um, my oldest will be 28 this year and so and so on and so so forth my youngest of the grown kids is 23 which is my son and then there's Gabby so I was able to be able to use the space um, behind me I can't show I'm actually outside this closet I come into my workspace and you remember this wall here so I'm on the other side of the wall now <laughs> um, and the closet is actually behind so it's right here with my workspace. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, let me see. I have a pretty good view. Let me show you guys. So like, see, so I have a nice view and you know, it's really nice. And I, have, I usually work with the window open so <laughs> I can, you know, just enjoy. Um, my view so that is <laughs> that's how that's my my workspace I actually has I have a nice window view <laughs> um 
so yeah um while i work so it's very peaceful but anyway that is it i just thought i would share so um I, you know as i change it around and you know i want to switch out the 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 uh, side these here because i hate that they spin so as I find other things, I will change them out and I will slowly get it even more organized in here. Um, and I will do an update, updated tour. But like I said, if you, um, I will try to put the links to this in the comments, uh, the description, um, links to this, these, and the link to this, um, if you guys are interested. Um, even those bins, maybe I might be able to um, put a link there as well. Just in case, if you're interested um, in the uh, description bar. But anyway, thanks guys again. Bye-bye.